this trip has been so amazing. The itinerary is so rich. Every day you think, well, today will be kind of a down day. No, that next day is better than the day before. Gate One's Kaleidoscope of South America begins in Santiago, the energetic capital of Chile. We then fly to Chile's Lake District, staying in the scenic village of Puerto Varas. Then we journey by boat and land into Argentina's Patagonia to stay in the beautiful town of Bariloche. Next, we fly to the cosmopolitan city of Buenos Aires, known as the Paris of South America for its elegance and vibrant culture. We then fly to one of the natural wonders of the world, Iguazu Falls, before ending the tour with a stay in Rio de Janeiro. This tour lets you explore the best of three countries while giving you the time to fully immerse yourself in the culture, cuisine, and incredible natural beauty of South America. Santiago, it's a very special city because we have plenty of things to offer. We're going to the old part of Santiago, which is going to be the palace from the government, then the main square with the cathedral and all the important buildings since the Spanish Empire. People really enjoy the contrast of Santiago as well as tasting their wine and their fish as well. We have the chance to visit the winery. That was so interesting. The history of the vineyard, the gardens there, and the wine was superb. We are going to one of the most pristine regions in the world, the unique Patagonia. We're going to be having the chance to stay on the Chilean Patagonia, visiting Puerto Varas, a little village by the lake. Puerto Varas was just beautiful, coming in on the bus from the airport when you saw the snow-capped mountains. That was where we stayed at the Lakefront Hotel. It's just amazing. The lake transfer we have from Puerto Varas to Bariloche, that was a one of a kind. Crossing the Andes is not only crossing the Andes, because on this tour we will sail the Andes. To see the clouds and then the mountains and the water being turquoise or emerald, it couldn't be more perfect. It couldn't be more perfect. One of the cities that we visit is Bariloche. It's a magical place by a beautiful lake. You have to get chocolate because there's a chocolate store on every corner. We have tours taking them to Campanario Hill by a chairlift to get beautiful views of Bariloche and the connection of all the different lakes. It's a landscape that a lot of people compare it to Switzerland. I mean, this is, this is gorgeous. We're surrounded by lakes and snow-capped mountains. What more to like, you know? Bienvenidos, Gate One. Well, Buenos Aires, I am from this city, so I love it so much. This is a very exciting city, one of the most cultural capital of South America, with beautiful architecture, great food, great wine. During the tour of Buenos Aires, we have the chance to visit Central Square, known as Plaza de Mayo, where the Pink Palace is located. We go to this place known as La Boca, the most colorful neighborhoods of Buenos Aires, where artists are gathering to sell paintings, sculptures and so you can go there and enjoy walking among these very nice streets. There's the street vendors, you can buy some street art. And ending with the visit of the cemetery, that a lot of people wonder why we go to a cemetery on holidays, and they finally are amazed by this place that looks like an open-air museum. 5,000 mausoleums waiting for us in the Recoleta Cemetery, including the Eva Peron Mausoleum as well. Tango and Buenos Aires, <laughs> they go together. Now, the tango lessons for us as part of the tour, that was a hoot, that was great fun, a lot of giggles there. <laughs> I am not a dancer, and I couldn't believe how much fun I had. And then, of course, with the show afterwards, when we saw the real dan tango dancers, I mean, we all laughed and said, I could do that, which, of course, we couldn't, but it was so much fun. It was an over-the-top of the experience. 14 performers on the stage, five up above in the balcony musicians, it was a night that you'll never forget. That was way cool. Bienvenido, Argentina. Eh? The Argentinian beef. If you talk to Argentinians, they will tell you that it's the tenderest in the world. <laughs> we have the chance to spend the day in a family ranch. Over there, we have the chance to see these gauchos, characters of our pampas, our countryside. 
So we see how they cook our barbecue, asado. And you're going to be having the chance to horseback ride, enjoy a very nice barbecue with good wine, and also be in touch with the gauchos and their life in the Pampas. My favorite spot on this trip to South America was today. I really, really wanted to see Iguazu, and it, was, it surpassed my expectations. I don't know how a person could take enough photos of the Guazu Falls. It's just so much to see. The part that you're missing when you look at a photo of Iguazu Falls is the sound. It's hard to describe what we saw today in, in Iguazu. We started down low, which is where you have to start. And then you can see it, and it just, it just spreads farther and farther and farther. And then you climb. And then you get to the edge. And when you get to the edge, you realize how powerful all that water is. I can't describe it other than wow. Rio is a combination of a very friendly city, beautiful beaches and great rainforest. In Rio we are going to take the train, I'm going to take us up on the hill and we are going to be seeing all Rio de Janeiro from the Christ Redeemer, how he is like embracing the city. What do you think? Redeemed! We'll continue our tour going to the Sugarloaf Mountain where you can see the city as if you're looking at a beautiful painting in front of your eyes. I love Rio, great views and also having the chance to experience a churrascaria that is a one in a lifetime experience regarding eating in Brazil. This is our first Gate 1 trip. I would absolutely recommend Gate 1 to anyone looking for an all-encompassing adventure. It's a chance to experience three different countries. You see totally different geography and landscape. So I'd highly recommend this trip to South America with Gate 1. This trip to South America, with Gate 1 especially, yes, I would recommend this to everyone. We'll go home and we'll brag about it. It's just been so good. Gate 1 takes care of you. You're worry-free. You feel like you're pampered, which is nice. <laughs> the nice thing about Gate One, not only do they have terrific itineraries at a good price, the accommodations that they find, I don't know how they do it, but they find these jewels of accommodations. I mean, Barrel Oak, we're sitting right on a beautiful lake with snow-capped Andes in the background, looking out of our hotel window. I, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to stay there in the hotel. The local guides are fantastic because they go into every detail about the history, the vegetation, just everything. Our guide Alex, or Alejandro, has been wonderful. Alejandro, incredibly knowledgeable, very caring, and he has a terrific sense of humor. If, if you don't smile <laughs> being around Alejandro, you're not awake. <laughs> So come and visit South America with Gate One. And give us the chance to surprise you with beautiful landscapes, excellent food, and the most friendly people. Try